Amblewood Dementia Centre of Excellence keeps everyone connected. Lockdown hit everyone hard, but it was especially difficult for those in care and their families. This would felt most when we sadly had to inform our residents' families that following government guidelines, we were closing the doors to all visitors. We needed to look to new ways to keep our residents and their families connected. We started off by making Skype calls on a laptop and quickly got a mobile phone to use for WhatsApp calls. This made such a difference as it enabled residents who couldn't even get out of bed to still be able to see and speak to their loved ones. But we didn't stop there. We wanted to make the video calls more special and more focused on happier topics. We encouraged families to send us photos and videos of what they were doing so our residents could still feel involved in their lives. Videos were watched on repeat and photos were sent along with letters and cards and wonderful pictures from grandchildren. These were so well received and everyone felt involved with the bread making, decorating and painting of rainbows. Tips were shared and residents were motivated to take part in activities so they could share their own stories during the catch up video calls. We created a weekly newsletter sharing government guidelines and updates on what activities were going on at our scheme. The newsletter was a really useful way to communicate with residents and their families. It meant we could ask for things to be sent in, such as sun hats to wear in the garden, without making numerous phone calls. Families felt more involved with the home and started to make donations of plants for the garden. Residents looked forward to doing things we could put in the newsletter and families looked forward to reading it and talking about the activities in their regular video calls. Everyone reminisced about days gone by and dug out old photo albums which were shared during video calls. This really helped lift everyone's spirit and created lots of conversations about happier times. As guidelines changed, we were able to introduce outdoor socially distanced visits. It was a very cheerful time as it meant so much to both our residents and their loved ones. Although it wasn't the same as normal and hugs had to be put on hold, it provided a degree of much needed normality. Feedback from families has been incredible. They've shown great support and gratitude for the level of communication and information sharing. Families told us how video calls and social visits have been a lifeline and something to look forward to. They said it has been brilliant to be able to keep in touch and seeing their loved ones' faces made it much more personal and kept them feeling connected, even though lockdown kept them apart.